let's create the schema on table in AWS. In workbench IDE, we just type the following commands. The first command creates a database named demo and you can create a user and I used one more statement to drop the user. This is just to demonstrate how to create and drop a user. And you can create a table by using the create statement as mentioned in the screenshot. You can insert the records manually. Select star from geo and see what data is insert inserted into the table geo. You can delete the records or you can truncate. If you are truncating the full table, the better thing to do is running a truncate table table name command rather than using delete because the delete will go on deleting row by row making the system much more slower aws s3 s3 is one of the file storage system on aws and it is covered under free tier you can create a bucket it's almost like creating a drive on your computer and then you can create folders you can better organize these folders in a fashion here i'm just using the bucket name as redshift course and followed by my own choice of folder name once you create the bucket and folder you can create a sample.csv file with the contents of data what we shown in the previous slide and by clicking the upload button on the AWS S3 you can update the sample.csv file once you have uploaded the file now you have a file on S3 and you have a redshift cluster which are two different entities now to make redshift programmatically access Amazon S3 you need to create an IAM user which is an unique user across all AWS products Let's create IAM user and ensure our Redshift will be authorized to communicate with S3 and pick this sample.csv. Navigate to AWS IAM service and click on create user on IAM service and enter the username and click next permissions and skip the commands till the step 5. Once you reach the step 5, you will be having the access key ID and secret access key. Save this access key ID and secret key access key for further use. You can load data to the Redshift table from S3 using any one of the following statements shown. Copy table from S3 and enter your bucket name of your choice, what you have created on S3 and the key name in my example you can see the third one copy geo from the file name on s3 and enter the credentials enter the access key id which you have created an iam user and secret key and execute the third statement now type select star from geo on your workbench ide and you could see the data which you have truncated in the previous slide. Now you got the data back as you have done the copy from S3. In a similar fashion, you can load data from multiple files when you has huge data set. And if you want to parallelly load all the data to save time, you can use this manifest file, enter all the smaller file names inside it and run this command to load the huge file which is broken into pieces in parallel to your redshift table.